So a few days ago, I made a video using the Suns in which we traded Devin Booker. I ended up trading him to the Minnesota Timberwolves. A lot of you guys were in favor of that. And a lot of you guys were also in favor of me trading him to the Knicks. Today, as you can tell, I decided to go with the Knicks. I did this for a multitude of reasons, and I'm sure you guys, you know, want to know what those are. One, I think the Knicks have more to offer. Um, I'll show you guys the trade in a second, but I thought it was actually a really fair trade value-wise, especially in the position that both of these teams are in right now. And when I look at Minnesota, I feel like the only real thing of value they could maybe offer Maybe Jarrett Culver. They're not trading Deion's Russell. They're not trading Carl Anthony Towns. And maybe they're picking this year's draft. Like, that. that's really it. When you see this trade with the Knicks that I did, I think you guys are going to kind of understand this is more fair. And I also look at this as a perspective of, yes, both of these teams, either the Timberwolves or the Knicks, which I think two, are the two teams that definitely have the best odds of getting Devin Booker, are both going to be bidding him for a ton, definitely for different reasons. One, if we look at the Knicks, they need a superstar. They need a star. They need somebody that can be their franchise player. Obviously, they wanted that to be Porzingis. That didn't end up working out. But we look at it on the Timberwolves side. Obviously, they want to pair up Devin Booker with D'Angelo Russell, Carl Anthony Towns. Have a nice young big three that hopefully can carry them to a championship. And hopefully multiple in future years. I decided to go with the Knicks because I think New York, Devin Booker, if he can force his way somewhere, I think he probably will go to the place where he can shine the most. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong on that. Maybe he'll want to go team up with D'Lo and Carl Anthony Towns. But... Just my take on it. So I made the trade here. Um, I thought I was actually going to have to put on trade override. I didn't even have to do that. It was our first round pick next year, which was number five overall. Julius Randle, Kevin Knox, and Dennis Smith Jr. for Devin Booker. And I want to give a huge shout out to Henry Friedman, who thinks I de- who said in my last video about Devin Booker, I think D-Book will get traded to the Knicks for the fifth pick, Julius Randle, Kevin Knox, and Dennis Smith. Um, a couple of you other you guys said that as well. Wasn't that exact thing. I thought this was the most, the most fair trade. The Suns desperately need a four. They just don't have one that's good right now. Kevin Knox looks good in his rookie year in the summer league. I feel like he hasn't even played for the Knicks, really. Like, that's just my opinion. I don't watch Knicks games. They suck. They're never on national television. And other than that, I don't get the Knicks games. And then Dennis Smith Jr., who's, I mean, he's bouncing around. He's like a hoe on a Saturday night. But, like, if we're being honest here, maybe a new home. And then, obviously, the fifth overall pick doesn't hurt as well. Just my take on it. I think the Knicks would definitely be willing to give up their first-round pick for Devin Booker. It's just I think they need to start and a guaranteed start. So we don't longer have our pick. We have the 30th overall pick from the Clippers. But we have a new home here with Devin Booker and Mitchell Robinson, who I know I just got in yesterday's video. Uh, if you guys didn't know and didn't watch yesterday's video or whatever, I'm pre-recording all these videos just because I'm going on vacation this weekend. Um, I'm going somewhere where I obviously can't record or upload videos. So I'm doing that. I'm trying to get all these out. RJ Barrett is definitely hopefully going to be a huge member of this. I'm actually just going to move him to small forward right now because that's where he is going to be playing. Uh, he's definitely going to be starting for at least the minimum the first year. But with that being said, I wouldn't mind. This is a totally unrealistic rebuild at this point. I thought the tra- trade was a little bit fair, but we're pro- more than a little bit fair. But I'm trying to, you know, this is an unrealistic rebuild right now. I'm trying to go all out to win a championship with this team. And that probably requires me trading a bunch of things and hopefully moving up in this year's draft just to get a decent pick. Like, could I maybe get pick, I don't know, eight from Atlanta? They want a first, and they'll give me Bruno Fernando. I'm not really interested in Bruno Fernando. Uh, I'll give you another second. All right, there you that. So when we now have, what was it, pick eight? Yeah, pick eight, which honestly isn't even that bad. I don't really know. Maybe if, like, I'm trying to think. We need a point guard. That I mean, we're good at shooting guard, small forward, and center. So we need a power forward. I don't know if Obi Toppin will fall. I definitely would be interested in him, even though I literally just got him the other day. Uh, or we kind of need a point guard, and there's obviously a lot of those in this draft. So let's see who falls to us at number eight right here. Uh, I'm hoping that it's somebody at least decent. I got Killian Hayes in my video yesterday, so I'm not going to be taking him no matter what today. I wanted Tyrese Halliburton, and I should have traded up for him because I really just never do that, but I, I should have. So Cole Anthony is honestly probably going to be my guy today. I would take Killian Hayes. I mean, he performed unbelievable for me in yesterday's video, but I'm not going to get the guy two videos in a row. So Cole Anthony is going to be my pick here. He's also a guy who's rumored to go to the Knicks. I don't think both will happen because I don't think the Knicks are going to trade for another high pick in the draft if they trade their pick for Devin Booker. But I feel like it's either one or the other, but we're making the best out of it. We're doing both today, and I'm actually really excited about this team. We're bringing back Cheesy Mass. You guys love when it happens. Pick it up all those options. They're all going to get traded. Uh, Damian Dotson, I'll give the qualifying offer to Jared Harper. I say this all the time. It's such a, it's a porn name. That is a porn star name right there. Jared Harper, unbelievably great porn name, but not going to be on this team. Maybe I'll do a rebuild around him at some point. Okay. I wouldn't mind keeping Alfred Payton. I think he would be a decent mentor to Cole Anthony right here. Cole Anthony will be starting nonetheless. Uh, Bullock and Ellington are both gone. Brzezakis is gone. Bobby Portis, get the hell out of here. And then Taj Gibson's gone as well. So I definitely have a few trades to make. Let me see what I can get into. So I'm going to try to start this one off big. I'm going to try to send Taj Gibson, Bobby Portis, and my first next year over to Toronto for Pascal Siakam. I didn't think they were going to do it. And I know I just said I was going to trade all these guys for first. But if I can actually give them up instead of first round picks, I would definitely prefer doing that. Even with that said, I probably will have to give up a first. Okay. 
Um, I'll give you the Dallas first because I know they're going to be good. Oh, seriously? I'll give you one more, but that's it. All right. I was trying for Siakam. That's obviously not going to happen. I think John Collins is not a bad second option. Um, do I do it? Or not Mitch Robinson. If this is possible, I would do it because one, I think it would be a crazy fun storyline. I know Porzingis is extremely hard to trade for, but I just think this would be a ton of fun. Getting Porzingis back to New York, getting him in a place where he can win a championship, hopefully. And I just don't know if this is going to happen, but I'll give you three first round picks if you want them. Okay. They don't want to do that. I kind of thought so. Honestly, like, is Bredegas? No, he has no more trade value. I would probably be willing to give you Alfred Payton if you wanted him. Holy shit. Kristaps Porzingis is back in New York, baby. He's going to be our starting power forward. I just gave up a lot for him. But honestly, at this point, this whole starting five is already all set. And that's actually kind of huge. I gave up three first-round picks. All three of these guys are now going to get traded for first-round picks. And then I'm going to work on the bench. So our first two free agent signings here are going to be Reggie Jackson and Derek Jones Jr. I did this Reggie Jackson because I think we need, definitely need some more veterans on the team. A veteran point guard behind a rookie or point guard is definitely not a bad idea. And then Derek Jones Jr. is just a nice young piece. I like Derek Jones Jr. a lot. Uh, I know I gave Dotson the qualifying offer, but unfortunately, I'm just going to let him go. We still do have $15 million in cap space after this, which means I can probably get, you know, one, maybe two more really solid players. Uh, but after this, Porzingis will not have a backup, so I'm going to get a backup center and a backup shooting guard. Let's see who's still available. Bogdanovich, I definitely would not mind at all. That is all of our cap space, but Mitchell Robinson does develop quite nicely in this game, and we obviously need a pretty good bench with this team. So at this point, Jan Mahimi's not really it, but I can somehow give him $9 million. I do don't really know how that's possible. If he wasn't 33, I'd maybe keep him, but I'm now going to try to swap him for a different center. I'm only going to throw in a second round pick. I don't want to give up a first for, okay, Daniel Gafford, absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. This rebuild is off to such a hot start, and I'm absolutely loving the way it's going right now. I just want to double check and confirm we have nine guys. I'm super excited to see how this team does. Like, I, I think we're going to be really, really good. But I love the storyline of bringing KP back to New York. We're all settled, so you guys at the start of year number one. I like, I really like this team, and I feel like we we're, we're going to be good, but we're not even going to be that good. Like we're good, but like, I don't know. I'm 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 losing my mind right now. Let's see how this team does. It's going to be Cole Anthony, Devin Booker, R.J. Barrett, Kristaps Porzingis, and Mitchell Robinson. I I'm just excited to have Porzingis back in New York. I don't know how New York fans are going to feel about it. Obviously, there's a little bit of tension there, probably. But if we end up winning a championship, I'm sure you're going to, you know, live with it. Uh, the bench is actually super solid as well. Bogdan Bogdanovich, Derek Jones Jr., Reggie Jackson, and then Daniel Gafford uh, going to be in here as our ninth and final guy. And for some reason, his butt hurt. Bro, you haven't played a game yet. Like, I... <laughs> this fucking game in the morale. But we're all set. I, I have no idea how this team's going to do. I feel like we get we're in the range from, like, a one seed to a six or seven seed. I have no idea. I'll see you guys at the end of year number one. So Giannis takes home the MVP award here at the end of year number one. 29, 14 and a half and seven. Yeah, he, he's pretty good at basketball. We go 43 and 39. So, I mean, I didn't think we we're going to be a one seed. I said we were in the range of anywhere from a one to like a seven seed. We're obviously on the back end of that. It's okay. We're still a very young team. A lot of developing to do. LaMelo Ball, rookie of the year. Also wins six man. Kawhi Devens, player of the year. Tony Bradley, most improved. Brett Brown is your coach of the year. Not bad. Wait, are we in the playoffs? Yeah, we're a six seed. So I will absolutely take that here with this team. Definitely. I definitely will. And again, I'm really happy we got Porzingis back. He led us in scoring. Then it was Devin Booker. I mean, honestly, they're from the same draft class. Like, they are, right? Yeah, both 2015. I still can't believe Devin Booker fell to pick 13. Like, that's crazy. RJ Barrett was super solid. Cole Anthony with a pretty decent rookie campaign. Bogdanovich, Mitchell Robinson, who I believe is butthurt right now. I'm, like, almost positive he's like, yep. I don't, dude, I, <laughs> it happens every single time and I don't know why it is. And I'm not playing these games with Mr. Robinson. I'm trading him because if I don't trade him this year and there's off season, then I'm stuck because he's a second round pick and he's not a restricted free agent and he refuses to sign with me and there's nothing I can do. So I will be trading Mitchell Robinson along with that. I'm going to be trading him because I got him in a video the other day. So Battle in New York here in the first round. Cry Reed, Karis LeVert, Kevin Durant. It's unfortunate. Both of these guys, I mean, Knicks fans probably thought both of them and Zion were coming. <laughs> Nicola Mirotic, DeAndre Jordan, Dinwiddie, Jared, or Jared Allen. Again, I say this every time I see it with the Nets. Why don't you just start Jared Allen? What the hell is a 34 or whatever the hell AG is, 32, DeAndre Jordan doing for you? Let the young guy develop, especially this year. I don't even know about real life, but like if they're playing DeAndre Jordan, who I don't, he might be hurt actually. I think he had a hip injury or something. I'm not positive on that one. Whoa, we won. We beat Kyrie and Kevin Durant. Okay, moving on to Philadelphia. Simmons, Thibault, Harris, Horford, and Bede. Same starting five. I actually kind of like having Thibault in the start. I like that they have Thibault in the starting lineup and have Richardson coming off the bench. I think that's a you know influx of scoring right there. I know influx, big word. But I don't mind it. We end up losing that team. I'm actually fine with that. So 
as I mentioned, I know you guys are probably saying, because I'm pretty sure the video I just recorded earlier, like literally not even 10 minutes ago, which I believe was, uh, why am I blanking? It was a trading every player's Spurs rebuild, and then this Devin Booker next rebuild are coming out day after day. And you're probably like, you gross motherfucker. Why are you wearing the same clothes? It's because if you didn't watch that video, as I mentioned earlier, I am going on vacation and I'm trying to, you know, grind out a bunch of videos for you guys. So, you know, I don't go four days without uploading because I'd rather get the content out there. But not as not important right now. Draft lottery right here. We're obviously probably not going. Oh, wait, I saw the Knicks. I saw the Knicks. Oh, my God. We have the Bulls pick. Is it protected? Why doesn't it tell you if it's protected? Why doesn't it tell you if it's protected? Okay. it's obvi It obviously had a protection on it. Don't get my hopes up. Just tell me if it's protected there. That's crazy does that. Uh, Jordan Malone. I signed a new staff last year. I signed Stafford, Peterson, and then a new trainer here. Uh, Eldon Stewart can come as well. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to get both those guys. So, our, our staff is fine. I don't really feel like we have a ton of moves to make with this team. I really don't, if we're honest. We have no picks in this year's draft. Uh, I don't really plan on drafting anybody. I'm, I'm, like, seriously upset we didn't get that Bulls pick. Like, just say, why? Why would I not be bringing R.J. Barrett back? 16 points, 5 rebounds, 2 and a half assists, and he's 21 years old, and he's on an $8 million team option. What the fuck? Like, explain to me why, like, give me a logical reason why I wouldn't bring him back. But no, 2K says, no, you, you shouldn't be bringing him back. Like, if I'm flying through that, I probably would have skipped over it. But we look at this team right now. It's at a very interesting spot. I think, as I mentioned, it's time to trade Mitchell Robinson. I mean, he, he said his time with the Knicks is ready to come to an end. I'll make that happen because he's not going to resign with me. And I know I can just search his name, but, like, I don't know. I, I just don't like Mitchell Robinson in my league. I'm just putting it out there. I never really have, and I'm never really going to. So... The only real way we're going to be able to match this with like a pretty high overall, I feel like, is if we, you know, trade somebody else. Because obviously the higher overalls are pretty much, oh, Shay, I like Shay, but no, no real spot for him on this team. Okay, let me find a trade. So I'm going to offer this to the Kings. Marvin Bagley's not a guy I get a lot. And Reggie Jackson, at the end of the day, is 31. I can definitely get a better, or not a, maybe even a better, but a different backup point guard. They straight up agree to that. Marvin Bagley, I'm excited to have him here. So I basically just need a new backup point guard at this point. Um, I don't think we have any cap space anyways, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, no, we have absolutely none. Giannis would have been cool. I mean, I feel like there's a little bit of Giannis to New York rumors. He's going to go to Utah. What the hell? Uh, TJ McConnell is absolutely perfect. I'll sign TJ McConnell. I will take him nine times out of ten over... Um, who the hell do we have? Reggie Jackson. I, I like forget who I trade sometimes. But nonetheless, this team is all set. I'll see you guys at the rotation at the start of year number two. All right, so we're here at the start of year number two. And the rotation is looking exactly the same. Obviously, we swapped one player, so it's not exactly the same. But basically, Cole Anthony, Devin Booker, RJ Barrett, Kristaps Porzingis. It's still like, it looks like it's like so old seeing Porzingis in a Knicks jersey. But I like it. I loved KP's time in New York. Uh, just like as a fan of basketball in general. I feel like he was dominant. And I thought he was going to be a franchise player, but... I'm not getting into that because I do have some Knicks fans I know that watch me. Uh, and then Marvin Bagley, the new addition here as well. He was 2018 draft class, correct? Yeah, second overall pick. Bench looking like this. Bogdan Bogdanovich, TJ McConnell, Derek Jones Jr., and Daniel Gafford. So the bench stayed exactly the same except for McConnell. I think this team is definitely good enough to win a championship, especially with all the progression. I feel like that's the main thing, and we do have a pretty young team. Let's see how we can do. I'll see you guys at the end of year number two. So Giannis ends up signing with San Antonio. I know I think I saw he was going to go to Utah. He always ends up signing with the Spurs, though. 63 and 19 on the Air Force. Definitely not bad at all. Boy, did Giannis, oh, I thought he had a triple double. It was like he never gets double digits this. Bull Bull. <laughs> how many were we? Two, three years past when he was two years past when he was drafted. And rookie of the year at an 85 overall. Well, those those stats definitely earned it after two years in the G League. Just tossing another thing that's just totally broken about 2K. The fact that you can send a guy to the G League for two years and he goes up to an 85 overall. Because I think Bull Bull's like a 73 overall. I think. I don't think he's any higher than that. But that's how 2K does it. Lamelo, six man. Kawhi Evans, player of the year. Kevin Porter Jr., most improved, still in Cleveland. And Mike Stafford does win coach of the year for us. So we're a one seed here in the Eastern Conference. You definitely love to see it. Head over here to player stats. Led into him by Booker. Then it was Porzingis. RJ Barrett was super solid for us. Marvin Bagley. Cole Anthony was he was pretty solid. Um, we'll see. Bogdanovich, Gafford, McConnell, Derek Jones Jr. Rebounds per game went to Bagley and assist was Cole Anthony. Team stats in the year points per game. Uh, whoa. Uh, we're actually seventh. Okay, it just looked like we were a lot deeper. And best defensive rating did give us the best differential. So, Philadelphia here in the first round, definitely not an easy first-round matchup by any means. I Again, I don't – I say this a lot in pretty much in every one of my videos. I'm sure a lot of you guys know this at this point. But, like, teams like that, like, that, that's not an eight seed. Like, that, that – <laughs> like, you're telling me that team is worse than Cleveland in Detroit and even maybe Indiana? Like, seriously? Now we just lost in the first round because that happened, and now I'm going to have to trade somebody unbelievable brooklyn does go on to win the finals and kevin durant is oh, wow he almost put up 40 points a game wins finals mvp like i'm just saying like there's no way that that's an eight seed like i 
I, I don't know what Detroit or Cleveland did to get tremendously better in like a one year span, but there's just no way. So I don't know if that one of those picks, I think I saw orange. So we have nine from Chicago and 12 from the Clippers. Hopefully I hope we have nine and we have 12. Okay. So we have two picks. I honestly probably going to throw them both in a trade. I definitely do have a little bit of a trade in mind. Do I want to keep Mike Stauffer or do I want to go and sign Nick nurse? I feel like coaching isn't the problem. Like an A and an A plus, I'm just going to leave style for it. That's a gamble, but who knows? I won't draft Joe Nobody, relax. Definitely knew of a trade to make, though. Um, Shit. It was going to be for a point guard, too. And obviously, I cannot trade my point guard right now. So, I guess I'm going to have to work on the bench. If I do Bogdanovich in these two picks, and I also have 18, funny enough. You get Paul George. I just got Paul George yesterday, though, so I don't really want to do that. Um, It's got to be somebody significantly better. So, let me see what I can do here. Oh! Darren Fox had four and a half stars, and I gave him Bogdanovich and our three, like, middle-tier first-round picks. Okay. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to remember to cue that or cut that in, but Darren Fox is the new guy here. Uh, I'm very excited to have him. Um, I think he's going to be a huge upgrade at the point guard spot. I mean, I love Cole Anthony. Honestly, I might just let him ride the bench, but ultimately, I feel like we needed a guy who is a little bit of a higher overall and a little bit more experience. I mean, not in the playoff department, but it's actually funny. Now we have two former Kings here in Bagley and Darren Fox is in a little bit of a better situation. And I only say that because I'm running this team, not because anybody else is running this team. But Bagley, I'm just going to give, he's going to end up getting his qualifying offer. Oh my God, Derek Jones Jr. is a free agent. I don't have bird rights on him. That's kind of crazy to me. because I, I just went under who I had bird rights on and Derek Jones Jr. wasn't there. I guess he was only on this team for two years, but I definitely need to replace him. Bagley is going to get his qualifying offer. Hopefully that saves me a little bit of money. This is like sometimes when 2K is actually glitching and like has a stupid bug or whatever it is actually kind of works out a little bit. I don't know why that's a bug. Like it's, it's just a thing, I guess. But at this point in time, I do need a new backup shooting guard. How tall? Cole Anthony's 6'3". I mean, I could just put him, move him to shooting guard, but yeah, we need a couple other backups anyway. So honestly, maybe I'll go back up power forward. It's either power forward or shooting guard. I don't really care, to be honest. So I think McConnell's definitely going to be traded. Uh, and then I need to sign somebody as well. So let me see what I can do here. So I saw the first trade, and we're just going to take it. Bobby Portis is going to come back to New York, and hopefully we can get him a ring. So he's going to back up Porzingis, so that means Devin Booker will not have a backup. We're switching it up a little bit this year. And now I'm in the market for a backup small forward. Joe Harris, just because of shooting. You know, I love Joe Harris and his, his unbelievable shooting ability. So he's going to come in here. Welcome to the, you know, other side of New York. We're no longer in Brooklyn. So, De'Aaron Fox, Cole Anthony, I'm just going to roll with it. I think it's honestly a deadly, lethal duo at point guard. I'm loving this team. Hopefully, we can get a championship and make it past the first round. Third and final year here, and we are officially all set. De'Aaron Fox, Devin Booker, R.J. Barrett, Kristaps Porzingis, and Marvin Bagley. Even with that being said, it is still a super young starting five and I'm honestly hoping we can still win a championship. But the bench looks like this. Cole Anthony, kind of like him on the bench a little more. I think, you know, it'll, it's obviously his numbers are going to go down. But starting De'Aaron Fox is kind of an, an, a need, like if, if we're being honest here. Uh, Bobby Portis, welcome back to New York. Daniel Gafford and then Joe Harris, new addition as well. So the bench changed a lot, but I think it's ultimately even better than it was last year. We're putting a lot of eggs in this basket. Let's see if we can get it done, boys. Season number three comes to a close here, and Luca wins the MVP award 34, 10, and 9 and a half. 65 and 17 on the year for us. I definitely will take that. I was hoping to break 70 wins, but 65 wins is definitely nothing to be mad about. Amoni Bates, rookie of the year, uh, ended up in Washington. Dude's an absolute stud. Lamella Ball, six man, Giannis, defensive player of the year in San Antonio. Jalen Green, most improved. Wow, look at him. Dude's an absolute stud in the scoring department there in Indiana. Mike Stafford does win coach of the year. So. We're a one seed. I mean, as I mentioned, 70 wins would have been cool, but 65 wins is, you know, definitely nothing to be upset about. Wow. Was that, was that Phoenix? Wow. Phoenix doing well after I traded them our pick. Looks like they took Anthony Edwards with it. I think I did that in my rebuild as well. Player stats on the year led in scoring by Booker, RJ Barrett, Porzingis, Bagley, Anthony, Darren. F wow. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, same points, but I mean, the assists are obviously in Fox's favor. Uh, Portis, Gafford, Joe Harris. Okay. Rebounds per game went to Bagley and assists went to De'Aaron Fox. Team stats in the air. Points per game, we were second only behind the Celtics. Defensively, we were first. Gave us best differential. I think a super cool storyline would be if we could somehow make it to the finals and we could play Phoenix. That would just be so super cool. Theo Maldon, Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Julius Randle, we traded there. And then, bam, out of bio. Who did we get for Julius Randle? Who did we... No. Wait, whoa. Where did I trade Julius Randle? Who... I thought I traded him for Porzingis. I might just be tripping out of my mind right now, but I have no idea. 
Uh, Cleveland here in the next round. Garland, Sexton, Porter Jr., Love, Drummond. Um, again, I don't think that it's that much of a challenge. Also, I want to put it out there. The fact that Andre Drummond asked for $40 fucking million dollars in this game is crazy. It's like crazy, crazy, crazy. Like, there's just... Uh, if uh, if a team gives... Uh, if Cleveland specifically gives Andre Drummond $40 million, like, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. But Celtics here. Wow. New point guard. Kemba's gone. Um, it's interesting. Jonas Valanciunas, Skyler, dude, Skyler's not a guy's name. It's that's tough. I'm sorry there. Hopefully, I'm not making fun of anybody, but that's tough. I want to face Phoenix. I think it'd be such a cool storyline. No, come on. I want to win. Don't let the Celtics do this to me. We're a better team. We're a better team. We're a better team, and we fucking lost. <sighs> well, Celtics and Spurs in the finals. That's so upsetting. Like, we're obviously, like, I know the Celtics are really good, and they probably have the best player in the series in Jason Tatum, but, like, we're overall a way better team. Just my two cents, but nonetheless, 590 overalls, not going to be getting to the finals, not even once. So, that's unfortunate. I would do a fourth season, but as I mentioned, you know, in this video and my video yesterday that you saw, I when you see this, I actually won't be on vacation yet, but I'm going on vacation. I have to record a bunch of videos, and I have to edit a bunch of videos, so unfortunately you know i don't really have time to do extra seasons right now but hopefully you guys can understand uh if you guys did enjoy that one could leave a like down below it'd be absolutely awesome if you guys are new and could subscribe we're on the road to 30k and if you guys could you know join in on that love my fans love my subscribers it's absolutely awesome each and every individual one of you but that being said you can leave any other video ideas down below in the comment section i promise i will get to the majority of them if i can and if they get enough support other than that though if you guys enjoyed leave a like that about does it for me love you guys i'll see you guys all in the next one